All right, as I'm going through and making this technical drawing here, I'm gonna make this exact one. If you wanna make changes to it, that is perfectly fine. I'll just tell you the parts that really matter, um, that it has to be like, for example, this number right here, this 0.375, this has to be that because that is the thickness of the material that we're using. But if you wanna change the curves however you want, perfectly fine, I'll do that. All right, so let's create our drawing here. So, start sketch. Let's make our outer rectangle, which is going to be a three inch wide by 10 inches tall. So I'm gonna click rectangle. I'm gonna click the top left corner, take your mouse, un don't uh, just click and let go. Uh, just kind of move it down here. If you click again, you're gonna lose those numbers. So before I click again, I'm going to type in 3, then I'm going to hit tab to go to the other box, and I'm going to hit 10, and um, then I'm going to hit enter. So now I have exactly a 3 by 10 rectangle right here. All right. To get your mouse back to the regular arrow, hit escape or right click and go to OK. Now there's a problem. I'm down here off the bottom of my page. A lot of times you can just click, drag it up onto here. All right. So if this uh, three right here is off the page, you can kind of adjust it. I can kind of put them wherever I need to put them. All right, so I got a three inch by 10 inch rectangle. Now we're gonna split this up between a uh, six inches on top, four inches on the bottom. So I'm gonna grab a line and I'm going to cut this in half right here. Now, one thing to be careful of. So right now you see there's a little yellow circle in the middle of that crosshair. If I put it on my line, it kind of snaps to my line. But if I put it up in the middle, you'll see it changes. All right, so right there, that little yellow circle turned green. What that means is that is right in the middle. Inventor's gonna try to do its best to help you out and if you put it close to the middle, it's going to say, hey, you probably want that in the middle, so I'm going to put that in the middle. In this case, we don't want it in the middle, so move it away from there and click and just come straight across here. Now, you'll see that dimension. It snapped to that three inches because it thinks, hey, we, we want it to be three inches wide. And in this case, it's correct. The one thing you care about is that angle right there. So you can see if I move my mouse, I get a different angle. Uh, we just want to make sure it says zero. All right, so I'm going to click right there. Now, right click, OK. Now, I want it to be four inches down here and six inches up here. So what I need to do is I need to tell it. And any time an inventor, you want something to be exact. If you want it to be an exact location or an exact size, you use this dimension button. Um, if you're ever not sure what a button does in Inventor, just put your mouse over it. Just wait a few seconds and something will pop up saying, hey, place is a dimension in a 2D or 3D sketch. Dimensions control the size of a part. Or like, hey, what does a uh, circular do? So if I just put my mouse over it, it's gonna tell me. All right. So anytime you want something exact, use dimension. So I'm gonna click my dimension button. And what I wanna say is, hey, from this line here to this line here, I want that to be four inches. So I'm gonna click on the first line, click on the second line, and then this part doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm just going to kind of put it over here. Click right there. Right now it's just whatever it happened to be, but I want this to be four, so I'm going to hit four, enter. So now this is four. Now, if I try to tell it that this is going to be six right here, I'm going to click on the first line, click the second line, bring it over here. Now we know that's six. And when I click, it's gonna give me a little error. It's gonna say, hey, adding this dimension will over constrain the sketch. Choose accept to create a driven dimension. When I hit accept, I can't change this six. And the reason is, this is 10, right? And this is four. So mathematically, this has to be six. I can't change that six. But what I can do is if I wanted to change this four, if I double click, Let's say I'll change that to three. Well, look at that. It magically changed. So 
What these parentheses mean, that's a driven dimension. It means, hey, you can't change it, but you can still see what it is. You can't change it because you've already told it mathematically, hey, this is 10, this is 3, so this has to be whatever's left over. All right, so I'm going to put that back to 4. All right. And now um, let's go ahead and put uh, our little rectangles right here, our little cutout rectangles. So these rectangles are going to be an inch and a half wide this way, so half of this three. And they are going to be three-eighths of an inch tall. And the reason it's three-eighths of an inch is because that's the size of our material that we're using. So I'm going to hit rectangle. I'm going to come over here, just kind of anywhere along this line that doesn't give you that little green dot. Remember if I get that green dot. What that'll do is it'll just kind of lock it into that place and it's just harder to move it later if you need to. So I'm going to come over here with my rectangle tool, click, move, and then how long did I want it to be? One and a half, 1.5. I'm going to hit tab to go to the other one. Now it says, right now it's a decimal, but I can do fractions. If I want it three eighths of an inch, I'm not going to do the math to figure out that's 0.375, I can just type 3 slash 8. When I hit enter, it's going to do the math for me. Okay? So that's pretty cool. You can, anytime you want a dimension or anything, you can put fractions. I can do like uh, 125 divided by 78. You know, it's a computer. It'll figure out whatever that is. Another thing you can do is let's say I want to make this the exact same size as this, well, I can now click on this dimension and that'll just copy that one over for me. So, use fractions, use decimals, use whatever makes sense to you. All right, so one and a half, three eighths, which is 0.375. We're gonna put another one of those down here. So rectangle, come over here and click. 1.5, tab, 3 eighths, enter. All right, and now what we want to do is between here and here, so that is, we want to make sure this rectangle is in the correct spot this way, and then this one is in the correct spot this way. So we're going to move those, dimension, click this line, click this line. I'm saying between that line and that line. Oh, you can't see. Dimension between this line and this line. Move over here. And let's make that one and a half, 1.5. Hit enter. And let's say from this one to this one, so from the center line, let's see, I've got 2.625, all right. So you'll notice when I did that, the whole thing shifted, that's fine. Just grab everything, you just kind of grab everything, pull it all down. Now, when I hit finish, if I hit finish, if I'm done, all my dimensions go away. This is my drawing right here because a lot of times when you make a technical drawing, you just want to give people the a actual drawing. They might not need the dimensions. If you hit finish or if you open up your file and you're like, where's all my stuff? Everything you do gets recorded over here on the left side. So that right here is our sketch. So we're going to click on the sketch. If we double click or we right click and edit, this brings everything back up. All right. So right here, we could be done. We could cut this out and we have a phone stand, but that looks boring. Let's make it look more interesting.